What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. And if you watch this channel, I know you are smelling off the chain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. Hope the family is good. Hope the money is coming in. Y'all already know how I give it up, man. Better late than never, man. Getting these tags done. This one I was was actually started by my guy Swaggy Swain since, man. But I was tagged by Goldie Smell Good. And that's three days and three nights, man. Three fragrances for the day and three fragrances for the night. Try to put some different stuff in here, y'all. Something that some things I haven't showcased on the channel, or you know, I just try to you know switch it up a little bit. On top of that, man, I was tagged twice. I also was tagged by my guy Ace Bendetta from Smell Better Fragrances as well, man. So I'm gonna do a separate video for that one. That one's gonna be a Middle Eastern version. Three Middle Easterns for the daytime, three Middle Easterns for the nighttime. That way we can kind of hit all categories, y'all. But I'm talking too much. Let's go ahead and hop right into these three. First fragrance I got for y'all, man. These are going to be my three daytimes first. I really just like this, man. Obviously, I kind of pick my fragrances in the time that we're in right now, which is fall. Rolling into winter. I personally just like this. This is spicy. This is warm. A little bit of sweetness. Kind of has an herbal vibe to it, man. Somewhat gentlemanly. I, just, I think personally it just smells better in the daytime. You can't rock it in the night. But this one coming from the house of Histories de Parfum. And that one is 1725, y'all. 1725. Again, y'all, this is like a warm, spicy, herbal type of vibe. There's some greenness. It kind of gives me like, I don't know if there's cumarin or, or, or like some red spices in there. But I really, really enjoy this, man. Really, really good stuff. I believe there's there's a powdery na nature to it as well. Really good stuff. My first one, y'all, 1725 from the House of Historic State Parfum. Second fragrance I got for y'all is a doozy, man. I don't think I mentioned this on a channel in a very, very long time. I know that this entire line gets, it gets its flag. Some people love it, some people don't. And for me, I'm kind of like in the middle, but this one being my favorite, my favorite from the line, that one, y'all, coming from the house of Lalique, and that one is Ancre Noir Sport. Ancre Noir Sport. Yes, you're going to get some of that inky, dark, cypress, vetiver, but this one kind of has like a, a shower jelly type of vibe. It adds a little bit of a little small mass appeal to it, but it still keeps the unique and complexity of the OG. And I can, I, I like that though. Like, don't stray too far away from it, but give me a little something. And this one just gives like a more clean, more like, again, shower jelly type of vibe on top of that heavy, inky, earthy type of vibe, which I, I, I dig it. Daytime, I think this would be great, especially here in the fall where the wind is always blowing. This is one of those fragrances that I feel like you got to have wind in order to get this on, man. In order to get a really, really good impression of it, you got to have some type of wind that's going to help carry it. Lalique, Ancre Noir Sport, giving you something different to think about. And my third, my third fragrance that I have, honestly, man, I've just really been enjoying this. Shout out to my family member, Jace. Sent this over. This is amber and lemon, to be honest, man. I... It's warm, it's sweet, it's citrusy, it's gentlemanly, has like a fougere type of vibe. It's different, and I really, really enjoy that too. It does have an effect where I believe it just plays well in warmer climates, as well as daytime situations. From the house of Nishane, y'all, that one being Ombre Calabria. Ombre Calabria, y'all, and I don't know, man, I've been, sheesh, he, he, he. This stuff smells great to me. <clears throat> I can see how, you know, some people may not like it because it does have like more of like an old school type of vibe. And I get that. But I like that, man. I like challenging my note palette. I, I like challenging my, you know, the scent profiles and kind of like 
really like enjoying this experience when it comes to fragrance. Like I don't want to have everything that smells the same type thing. And it's kind of pushed the rails for me. I don't have too many like somewhat fougere type of vibe fragrances. And that's part of the reason why I put this in here, just because I like to be different. You know what I'm saying? I think all of us like to kind of have our own way to stand out. Ombre Calabria from the house of Nishane is another one. Wrapping on my three daytimes. Let's hop into the nighttime joints. Nighttime, y'all, like I said, we keeping it different. I haven't mentioned this on the channel. I don't believe so, but this is another one that is beautiful, sweet, somewhat aromatic, that has a dustiness to her. I believe there's some cacao in here. Really, 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 really nice stuff, man. This is a newer bottles from the house of Guerlain. I'm talking about La Instant de Guerlain. La Instant de Guerlain, man. You're going to get like this gentlemanly, kind of old school, dusty, cacao type of vibe, but it's sexy though, y'all. This is a sexy fragrance. Not going to be something that everybody's going to be wearing. Not going to be something that everybody may enjoy. However, for me, and my three days and my three nights in this here fall right here in Zion, Illinois, this is going to be a hit. Trust me, because that wind, I'm telling you, that wind is so importante to some of these fragrances, man. Lidge being one of them. That's my first one for the nighttime. Let's get to these other two. Next one, I'm going with Pure Luxury, man. This one is... This beautiful, man. I believe it's discontinued, but still readily available. This has like this coffee, almost boozy type of vibe. This one is grown, man. Juice as well, man. From the house of Robert Graham, I'm going with Valor. Robert Graham Valor, y'all. This right here? <sighs> Don't do it to him, blood bath. Oh, this is really good stuff, man. Oh, boozy, somewhat boozy, but like a strong coffee note that's in here that's really, really nice. It's not like a dark coffee. It's just like a compliment to it, man. Really, really good stuff. I enjoy this. This is, this is nice, man. Longevity on it is great. It's going to smell refined. It's going to smell put together. Robert Graham Valor. That's my second choice. My third choice for y'all, man, coming from a house that I believe does really good work. I don't believe I put this on the channel as of yet, but this may be his first time making an appearance. This is Rose Absolute. I believe there's some chocolate in here as well. This is sexy. This is enveloping. This is intoxicating. This is a beautiful scent. This is my scent. Like, if I'm out with, you know, my young lady, I'm really trying to impress her nose. I'm really trying to be a snack. I'm trying to get into extracurricular activities, maybe. This will be that fragrance, man, that's going to help me. That one coming from the house of Aaron Terrence Hughes, y'all, and that is Patchouli Noir. Patchouli Noir, man. This is some sexy stuff. Almost as sexy as my oxytocin. Kind of have the same body and DNA as each other. This one just comes off a little bit more on the fresher side. There's some vanilla in here. Again, I said rose. Absolute. I believe there's some chocolate in here. Ood, I believe, is in here as well. Really, really nice stuff, man. Sexy, sexy stuff. Wrapping out my three. That one coming from the house of Aaron Terrence Hughes, y'all. And that one was Patchouli Noir. Aaron Terrence Hughes does some really good work, man. That one ain't no slouch. And that's going to do it for me, y'all. I mean, those are my three fragrances for the daytime. And my three fragrances for the nighttime, man. I want to shout out my, my guy, Goldie, Swaggy Swain Sense, all you guys for tagging me, man. Doing my best to get this health together so we can, uh, we can rock out some more of this 2023 as well as 2024. I'm going to leave this tag open. Honestly, I'm only leaving it open because this tag is two weeks old. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting them out anyway, y'all. My name is Jeremy. You are tuned in to the House of Colossus. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to have that friend. Tell a friend about my videos, y'all. Until we meet again, much love from your boy. Hope to catch y'all next and through the grace of God. Peace.